A really important part of my life's journey so far is finding my own voice. And that's really defined my ability to make social impact. Jane Chen describes herself as a rebel. At first, it's hard to see. As a teen, she and her friends would stay up all night reading shiny magazines and eating tons of jelly beans. Not so crazy. There is one way in which she was hugely rebellious. She never became a doctor. Her Taiwanese-American parents wanted her to have security and prestige. Her father would make her practice saying her name. She'd have to answer, Dr. Chen. Jane's rebellion was a battle for her true self. Anytime my mom would want to put me into a pretty dress, I would literally just start crying. All I wanted to wear was jeans and, and t-shirts. I love the idea of entrepreneurship starting at a very early age. When I was about seven years old, I set up my first lemonade stand. But when no one was coming around to buy my lemonade, I decided to take it door to door. Jane was painfully aware that she was the only Asian American in an all-white neighborhood. She disliked being different. There's a photo of Jane's preschool class, a bunch of blonde hair blue-eyed kids, Jane is by herself a foot away from the others. I was very self-conscious about my looks, so it definitely made me a bit shy. I think I overcame that by just really coming to appreciate that my differences were uh, what made me beautiful. And so I really embraced that, especially going into high school. And rather than trying to blend in with the crowd as I did when I was younger, really tried to, to stick out a lot more. It actually made me confident. And it was, again, just feeling comfortable with who I was rather than to, to be someone else. After graduating college, Jane got a job as a management consultant, but it didn't feel right. She wanted to do something she deeply cared about, but she didn't know what it was. One day while I was reading an article about the AIDS epidemic in central China, what happened was millions of farmers contracted HIV through selling their blood. So I quit my consulting job. I went to help an NGO. We were able to help about 3,000 orphans obtain an education. Returning to the U.S., she enrolled in a cutting-edge class at Stanford. The class assignment was to help premature babies in developing countries survive. We knew that traditional solutions weren't going to work in the settings that we were looking at. And based on that, we developed the Embrace Infant Warmer. And the core technology is a pouch of wax-like substance that creates a warm little micro-environment. And it costs about 1% of the price of a traditional incubator. My parents are finally fully supportive of what I do now. Jane's Infant Warmer is as unique as she is. It combines brilliant new ideas and true humanitarian achievement. Jane. You deserve to be famous for coming up with a solution that will save the lives of hundreds of thousands of babies all over the developing world and for following your heart.